Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about an action fantasy film called The Monkey King 2. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Sometimes in the distant past, a holy monk called Tang has taken on a perilous journey to retrieve the scriptures from the west while passing by the flower mountains alongside his two disciples, not realizing that a monkey demon called Wukong has been stuck inside the rocks for over 500 years. However, the people quickly get in trouble when they are being hunted down by a massive tiger, who eventually traps the humans towards a corner. The disciples try to save their master by abandoning the horse, but the gullible monk wants them to save the animal as well, which causes the people to quickly abandon the holy man instead. This forces Tang to start reasoning with the flesh-eating creature and trying to gain the animal's sympathy, but unfortunately the tiger doesn't speak any Chinese and begins chasing the man furiously towards the cave entrance. Luckily, Tang manages to hide inside for now, but quickly notices the monkey demon trapped inside the rocks, who tells the man to rip off the talisman immediately to save their lives. Seeing that the tiger is about to get inside, the monkey has no choice but to take off the charm, which causes the entire mountain to shake violently as the monkey demon starts breaking free from the rocks and causing a huge explosion in the process. This allows the monkey to finally be free as he jumps around the rocks with joy, but the massive tiger has survived as well and begins attacking Wukong furiously. However, the creature is no match for the monkey demon who quickly grabs onto the enemy's tail and throwing the tiger towards the sky with tremendous force. Very soon, Wukong begins summoning the golden staff while the magical weapon flies towards the monkey like an asteroid and allowing the main character to grab onto the golden pole which increases his powers even more. Before the tiger can attack once again, Wukong manages to strike the creature right in the stomach as he pushes the monster towards the earth and crashing directly onto the ground. The man sees this and is shocked by the monkey's ungodly powers, but the demon quickly jumps towards him and begins examining the holy monk. It's quickly revealed that Wukong was told by the gods to protect the man on his journey towards the west, but Tang refuses immediately after witnessing the demon's horrific powers. This causes the monkey to cheer in joy as he thinks that he's finally free before quickly rushing away towards the horizons. However, a magical crown eventually reveals itself from the monk's belongings and flies towards the monkey demon, which forces Wukong to return back to the holy man as he demands the human to take it off immediately. The monk sees this and begins reading the writings on the magical object Object, which causes the monkey tremendous pain in the process, but Tang continues chanting the words like he's inside a karaoke. This forces Wukong to smash onto the rocks and finally stopping the human's horrific vocals while the monkey king grabs onto the man with anger. Their arguments are quickly interrupted when the goddess of mercy appears inside the sky and tells the demon that the only way to remove the crown is to first obtain the scriptures from the west. The monkey hears this and rushes towards their destination immediately as he launches through the sky with blinding speed and eventually landing onto the ground, but only to see that he's right back to where he left off. The holy man explains to the demon that they must venture to the west without using any powers, or the journey will never be completed in the eyes of the gods. However, what the people don't realize is that danger is already here, while a gigantic dragon rushes out from the water and charges directly towards the people before devouring their horse at the same time. This causes the monkey to launch towards the monster as he tries to get back their horse, but is only grabbed onto by the dragon instead and quickly thrown away like a flying ragdoll. Luckily, the monkey manages to recover immediately and charges towards the enemy once again as he holds onto the giant monster and slamming the dragon downwards, which causes the creature to crash onto the ground. The demon goes towards the dragon immediately while demanding the creature to pay back his mount as he grabs onto the giant monster and slamming it with tremendous force. This quickly turns the entity into a horse who promises to become the monk's disciple as well, and helping the man to continue his journey towards the west. At the same time inside a nearby city, a father is closing up his shop alongside his daughter, but they are quickly interrupted by an unwanted guest who appears to be the infamous skeleton demon that's known for devouring little children. However, before the creature can take away the young girl, his followers are quickly attacked by giant monsters from the outside, as they are killed immediately by the demons. It's quickly revealed that these creatures are the true followers 
of the skeleton demon, who begins eating the imposters immediately to avenge their master's name. Very soon, a mysterious cloud of white smoke enters the room and eventually becomes a woman called Bai, who reveals herself to be the true skeleton demon. She goes towards the imposter and takes off his mask, while revealing that the person is nothing more than a mere human who's using her name to kidnap the girl. This greatly angers the demon, who quickly devours the man's energy and leaving him to die, while her minions approaches the father and his daughter, before killing the people as well. The skeleton demon eventually disappears from the room, as she travels back to her castle on the mountains, where no human dares to venture inside. However, it's quickly revealed that the woman's time as a demon is running out, as her date of reincarnation is approaching closer, but she soon notices from her magical mirror that the holy monk is approaching her way, and plans on devouring the man to finally obtain immortality. At the same time, Wukong has arrived towards a desolate place alongside his master, while the monkey begins to feel that something is wrong, as he starts scanning the location for treacherous demons, but only to see a bunch of women running towards them out of nowhere. Very soon, a man that looks like he's from a Korean soap opera goes towards the people while looking for directions, but Wukong quickly noticed that he's actually a demon in disguise. This causes the monkey to strike the stranger, and forcing the creature back to his true form who turns out to be a pet demon known as Beiji. Surprisingly, the enemy is quickly revealed to not be alone, as a blue giant known as Wu Jing launches out from the sands, while attacking the Monkey King furiously. However, the demon is clearly no match for the main character, who quickly begins overpowering the enemy as well. Beiji sees this and transforms into his demonic form that turns out to be a gigantic warhog, and charges directly towards the monkey, but only ends up knocking away his own teammate instead. This causes the pig monster to become even more angry as he rushes to attack once more, but quickly crashes onto the walls and knocking out himself in the process. The monkey sees this and goes to fight the blue monster right away, while quickly capturing the enemy as well and kicking him onto the ground as he forces the demons to surrender immediately. It's quickly revealed that the demons were actually told by the goddess of mercy to accompany the holy monk just like the main character, but the monkey king refuses to believe their words and threatens to kill them right away. Tang sees this and tries tries to stop Wukong immediately, while telling his disciple that killing is wrong, but accidentally pushes the demons down the mountain, while almost committing murder in the process. What they don't realize is that they are being watched by the skeleton demon inside her magical mirror, who's conjuring up an evil plan to capture the Monkey King's master. The next morning, the group has ventured towards a remote forest, where the heavy fog is blocking their views, and preventing them from proceeding any further. Surprisingly, a path is suddenly cleared in front of their eyes, while showing an isolated house in the far distance, but Wu Kong notices that the location is filled by demonic energy. What they don't realize is that the skeleton demon has transformed herself into a human, as she plans on tricking the people with her disguise as a helpless old woman. Very soon, the team ventures inside the mysterious house, and eventually meets the old lady as she pretends to be terrified by the monstrous looking disciples of Tang. The monk sees this and goes to calm her down, but the woman quickly takes the chance and casts a powerful illusion onto the people's eyes, while preventing them from noticing her magic. The old lady eventually takes the group inside her house, as she offers them hospitality, but the pig demon is only interested in the woman's daughters, and offers himself to be their husband, before going outside to look for the girls like a simpleton. Tang sees this and quickly tells Wu Jing to go after the pig demon, while the monkey king is still being irritated by the magical dusts inside his eyes. The old woman sees this and tells the monkey to go wash his eyes in a nearby lake, but Wu Kong is unwilling to leave his master alone. This forces the demon to take out his golden staff while creating a magical circle around his master and telling the monk to never walk out from the location before rushing off towards the lake. However, the holy man chose to not listen to his disciple and begins going towards the old woman to thank her for letting them stay, not realizing that she's trying to ambush him from the back. At the same time, the monkey king has arrived towards the forest and tries to wash his eyes with the water, but nothing seems to work on clearing his vision. With no other choice, the demon decides to spit out a giant ball of fire in front of his face, while burning the evil magic off from his eyes. This allows Wu Kong to finally see through the enemy's illusion, as he rushes towards the old woman to end her life, and making her faint as a result. But he quickly notices that the demon is actually trying to escape. The Monkey King eventually chases the enemy towards the outside, as he rushes to kill the devious demon, but Bai manages to disappear right in front of his eyes while trying to ambush the monkey 
Loki from behind. Luckily, Wukong is able to retaliate the vicious attacks just in time, but the enemy quickly changes her battle strategy and begins charging towards the monkey with blinding speed before eventually disappearing in the process. The main character realizes that he's been tricked and quickly charges back towards the house while the skeleton demon has returned back to the old woman's body as she tries to attack the master right away. However, Wukong quickly charges forwards and knocks the demon flying across the room, while Tang is shocked by his disciple's violent action as he sees the old woman dying on the ground. The main character slowly approaches the demon to finish the kill, while the monk shouts for him to stop, but the monkey refuses to listen and strikes the woman right on the head. This causes Tang to become furious as he sees what his disciple has done and begins chanting the words on the magical crown, which causes the monkey king tremendous pain. However, what the man doesn't realize is that Bai is still alive, as she watches Wukong suffer and crashing repeatedly towards the walls, before eventually falling unconscious as a result. The skeleton demon eventually returns back to her castle as they fail to capture the holy monk, but the woman is not willing to give up her plan so easily. At the same time, Wukong is brooding on top of a mountain after his punishment, but Tang eventually arrives and apologizes to his disciple for what happened. However, the man doesn't want the monkey king to kill any more people, as he believes that all lives should be protected equally in this world. The next morning, the people decide to continue with their journey as they eventually arrive towards a large country that's surrounded by numerous mountains. When the group eventually sets foot inside the streets that are filled with people, they quickly notice the walls with numerous posters of missing children which were all apparently abducted by the skeleton demon. Very soon, the team arrives into the castle of the king where he welcomes the people into his country by throwing a massive party and telling the holy monk about their struggle with the evil skeleton demon who's killing all their children while begging Tang to help them slay this malevolent entity. What the people don't realize is that the skeleton demon has already arrived inside the castle as she's furious at the king for spreading a bunch of lies. However, before the woman can finish talking, she's quickly interrupted by the soldiers from the side, which causes her to attack the people immediately and killing them like nothing but insects while displaying her incredible powers. The skeleton demon eventually goes towards the holy man and a assures the monk that she's not interested in consuming his flesh, while revealing that she only wants to talk with the monkey king, before quickly flying away and causing Wukong to chase after her. The two eventually arrives towards a secluded building, while the woman lays onto her bed, and assuring the monkey that she has no intention of fighting him right now. Surprisingly, the demon claims that she wants to help the main character get rid of the golden crown on his head, as the woman pities Wukong for living a life like a circus monkey, who is forced to to do humiliating tricks while being constantly punished by his master. However, the skeleton demon offers to slay Tang for Wukong so that he can finally be free and tells him to lure his master away from the castle to be killed as she quickly disappears towards the sky. The monkey king eventually goes back to the monk but refuses to reveal anything about their conversation while only telling Tang that the demon wants to meet him alone. Surprisingly, the monk agrees right away as he wants to change the woman's heart and decides to meet the skeleton demon despite her evil intentions. Very soon, the holy man is approached by a cold hand from behind, who's quickly revealed to be the evil demon. But just before she can kill the human, a second Tang comes out from the building while accusing the original to be the monkey. This makes the woman realize that she's been tricked as she attacks the people furiously, but is quickly stopped by the monkey king while the other disciples have come to join the fight as well. It's quickly revealed that this was the main character's plan from the very start, which which greatly angers the skeleton demon who summons her minions towards the location as they transform into their horrific forms and devouring the pig demon in a single bite. The people sees this and begins fighting the enemy right away, while Beiji eventually manages to escape the demon who devoured him as he goes to help his friends on the other side. At the same time, Wu Jing manages to hold back the giant snake monster as he eventually grabs onto the enemy and breaking the creature's neck while saving his master from the enormous vampire and dropping the man onto the ground. However, the monk is quickly taken by a mysterious man, while the disciples try desperately to find their master. But luckily, Wukong is able to eventually notice that the monk has been taken underground. It's quickly revealed that Tang has been brought towards a dungeon by the king's men, where he realizes that numerous children are locked up in the cells. Very soon, the king arrives inside the room and reveals that he has been drinking the children's blood for many years in order to undo the curse that has been placed on his body. But he eventually realizes 
that only the holy man's flesh is capable of saving his life. Luckily, just before the monk can be killed, the people are quickly knocked away by the monkey king's weapon, as the demon arrives just in time to rescue his master. This allows the main character to finally free all the children from this terrible place, while they eventually return back towards the surface, as all the citizens begin thanking the holy monk for bringing back their family. The next morning, the team finally decides to leave the city and continue their journey towards the west, but are surprised to see that everyone is rushing forwards to give them presents for rescuing the innocent children. However, the Monkey King quickly realized that something is wrong as he sees that the demon is planning to ambush his master once again. This forces the monkey to rush forwards and knocking away the girl in front of everyone, while Tang tells the main character to stop immediately. Very soon, the mother notices that her child is hurt and quickly decides to take vengeance on the holy monk by grabbing onto her knife, but Wukong sees that the woman is actually the skeleton demon in disguise. This causes him to jump forwards and striking her with tremendous force, which immediately kills the woman right in front of his own master. Tang is shocked by the main character's violent actions, while the Monkey King goes to finish killing the woman's daughter, but the man is quickly able to stop his disciple by chanting the magical words, and forcing Wukong to drop his weapon onto the ground while suffering continuously in pain. However, the monkey is not willing to give up so easily, as he eventually manages to grab onto his weapon once again, while striking down the child with all his power. Tang sees this and is disgusted by what his disciple just did, as he tells Wukong to leave him right away and never to come back. This causes the monkey to fall into sadness as he kneels down in front of his master to show his respect, before eventually flying away towards the sky and leaving the holy man crying on the ground. What the people don't realize is that the skeleton demon is watching them from afar, as she takes the chance to grab onto the holy monk and taking him away from his disciples. Realizing that they have no chance to fight against their enemy without the monkey king, the pig demon decides to go retrieve Wukong from the flower mountains, while Wu Jing plans to go sneak into the enemy's castle for their master. However, when Beiji eventually arrives towards the monkey king's home, he notices that the demon has not come back to the mountains like he expected, as he only sees the dragon armors left behind by the main character. At the same time, Wu Jing has made it towards the enemy's castle, but quickly realizes that something is wrong, as countless skeletons begin rising out from beneath the ground and eventually forming a giant army. This forces the man to fight the monsters all by himself, as the enemies eventually corners him from all sides, but the fight is quickly interrupted by an object crashing onto the ground. It's quickly revealed that the pig demon has arrived while wearing the monkey king's armor, as he quickly goes towards Wu Jing and begins fighting the enemies alongside his comrade. At the same time, the monkey king is reflecting about his memories with his master, but eventually decides to leave everything behind, as he rushes back towards the flower mountains. However, the demon is eventually interrupted by the goddess of mercy, who tells the monkey king that his journey is not over yet. The woman reveals to the main character that his master has already been captured by their merciless enemy, and he's the only one with enough power to save the monk's life. Very soon, the skeleton demon begins using her powers to absorb the life energy away from the monk, while his disciples are fighting desperately outside the castle. But Beiji quickly senses a powerful entity coming their way, as all his armors are sucked away towards the sky. It's quickly revealed that the monkey demon has decided to join the battle as well, as all the armors begin flying towards the main character while greatly increasing the demon's powers. This allows the monkey to throw his weapon towards the skeleton army and completely overpowering the enemies, as he turns the monsters into nothing but dust. Very soon, Wukong senses the monk inside the castle and quickly rushes towards the massive building, while using the golden staff to knock the enemy away from his master. This greatly angers the skeleton demon as she rushes furiously towards the main character and knocking the monkey directly onto the mountains. However, the monkey king manages to recover immediately as he begins dodging the woman's vicious attacks by teleporting all over the enemy while eventually hitting the demon's face and knocking her away like a flying ragdoll. The monkey takes the chance and rushes towards the monk immediately as he tries to get his master away from this location, not realizing that the woman has conjured up all her powers as she transforms into a gigantic skeleton monster. The people sees this and tries to fight the massive enemy, but is quickly knocked away like nothing but insects. At the same time, the Monkey King is also captured by the giant skeleton as they are swallowed inside the massive creature. Luckily, the main character manages to break out immediately, but the enemy quickly pulls back his master while throwing the monkey towards 
covers the ground. This gives Wukong no other choice but to fight the giant demon all by himself, as he tries to dodge the creature's deadly attacks, but is eventually knocked away by the monster, as he barely avoids getting killed by his enemy. The skeleton demon eventually throws a devastating punch towards the main character, but Wukong manages to fight back right away, as he tries to break apart the massive opponent, while knocking the creature right on the head. But the enemy quickly recovers all the damages like nothing has happened. This allows the demon to throw numerous skeletons towards the main character as she tries to capture the Monkey King, but Wukong manages to grab onto the monster and breaking off the creature's arm in the process, while causing the opponent tremendous pain. The demon is forced to summon all her skeletons to regenerate her body, but Wukong quickly stops the enemy by using his golden staff as he begins splitting himself into numerous clones that completely surrounds the opponent from all sides. Very soon, the monkeys begin charging forwards and crashing onto the gigantic demon as they quickly break off the enemy's body and causing everything to crumble towards the ground. This causes the skeleton demon to drop down as well, as she begins burning away from losing all her powers, but Tang refuses to watch the woman die as a vengeful demon and decides to eventually absorb her inside his own body so that he can finally save the woman's soul. The monkey sees this and quickly catches his master before bringing the man onto the ground, but realizes that the monk is slowly dying as well. The people watches in sadness as their master is turned into a stone sculpture in front of their eyes, as Tang finally manages to purify the skeleton demon's soul while sending her towards the afterlife by sacrificing himself in the process. However, despite watching their master die in front of their eyes, the Monkey King refuses to abandon the monk's mission, as he plans to carry the man's sculpture all the way to the west and alongside his friends. What the people don't realize is that the Goddess of Mercy has been watching them this whole time, as she uses her magic on the holy man and slowly bringing the monk to life on the back of the Monkey King while they continue their journey to retrieve the holy scriptures. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.